In this video, we're going to introduce um, the gamma function and derive one of its basic um, relationships. A reminder that the playlist for all the videos is at the uh, website digital-university.org. If you go there and go to the calculus section and scroll through that, you'll see that we have an entire section now that is devoted to um, integral functions. Okay, the um, basic definition of the gamma function involves this rather um, strange looking um, integral. If we say, well, the gamma function of n, then over here in the integral we have x, and the exponent of that is whatever this is, subtract 1. Then we have e to the minus x dx. Now, What's interesting about the gamma function is some of the basic identities that come out of it. And here we're going to derive probably the most basic identity. And where we're going to do it is by considering this integral and attacking it by using integration by parts. Remember how that's set up. We say that the integral of, say, u dv that equals uv minus the integral of v du. So with this integral here, if we call part of it u, one aspect of this u, then we have to be able to differentiate that to get du. And the other part of the integral is, then is going to be automatically dv, and we have to be able to integrate that in order to get the v term here. So, for example, what happens if we say, well, let's call this u, because we know that that would be easy to differentiate to get the du. And of course, if we do that, then this has to be the dv term. Now, to get v, we had to be able to integrate that. But that would be a simple integral. So let's call this u, and let's call this dv, and see what happens. So let u that's x to the n minus 1. We have to know du. That's just n minus 1 times x to the n minus 2 dx. And of course, that means dv. That is e to the minus x dx. So v, that's just minus e to the minus x dx, taking that simple integral. So here we have then our original integral. We'll write it down here. x goes from 0 to infinity of x to the n minus 1 e to the minus x dx equals u times v. This is u, and this is v, so we have a minus sign here. And then we have x to the n minus 1. And here, the dx is gone. When we integrate this, the integral of e to the minus x dx is just simply e to the minus x. So here we have e to the minus x, u times v. Then we have minus the integral of v times du. This here is a minus sign, so this will be plus. Then we have this times this, so x to the n minus 2 
times e to the minus x dx, and out here we have n minus 1, and x goes from 0 to infinity here and here. So again, uh, just using the basic uh, integrating by parts, this is the gamma function, and we can express it like this. Now this term, e to the minus x, of course, that's 1 over e to the x. And if x is infinity, that's going to make that term 0. Then if x is 0, then this term is 0. So this first term just drops out. It's just simply 0. So let's just rewrite what we have then. This integral here, the integral of x to the n minus 1, e to the minus x dx equals this integral, n minus 1, integral from 0 to infinity. Now we have x to the n minus 2 e to the minus x dx. Of course this, by definition, this is the gamma function of n. And this is equal to n minus 1 times this integral. But now let's compare these two integrals. Because here we have e to the minus x dx, same thing here. This is x to the n minus 1. This is x to the n minus 2. Well, remember now the definition for the gamma function. That's this. This is n. X has to be raised to this to the one to the x min, to the n minus one exponent. So over here then, this would be the gamma function of n minus one. The gamma function of n of n minus one would be this integral. X would be raised to whatever this is minus 1. And of course n minus 1 minus 1 is n minus 2 e to the minus x dx. Let's look at this again. The gamma function of n is that's x. The exponent of this variable x has to be this subtract 1. Here then if this is a gamma function of n minus 1 the exponent here has to be this, minus 1. Well, n minus 1 minus 1 is n minus 2. So what we derive very quickly then is this relationship right here. Now, suppose we asked ourselves, well, what would be the gamma function using this relationship, say, of n plus 1? Well, now here on this side, we replace the n with n plus 1. So we have n plus 1 minus 1 times the gamma function. Now we replace the n with n plus 1. So we have n plus 1 minus 1. Or what we have then is that the gamma function of n plus 1 equals, this is just n, times the gamma function of n. So this relationship right here we're going to use 
over and over again in our future videos. We just wanted to, to give a demonstration of how that relationship was derived. And again, it came about very quickly, just simply by considering the basic definition of the gamma function, looking at the integral, and just breaking it apart um, using uh, by integrating by parts. Now suppose though that when we were approaching this problem our reasoning was well when you're doing integrating by parts whatever you call u you have to be able to differentiate that to get du. When you recall dv, you had to be able to integrate that in order to get v. So we looked at this and we said, well, we can call this u because that's easy to get, take the derivative of. And if this is dv, that's an easy integral to do to obtain v. So that was fine. But suppose that when we were setting the problem up, we said, well, let's call this u e to the minus x. Now we had to be able to take the derivative of that, but that's simple enough to do, so that part would be no problem. Then if we call that u, then that means that this part of the integral has to be dv. So we had to be able to take the integral of x to the n minus 1 dx. That should be no problem. So Let's go ahead then and see what happens if we call this u and call this dv. So we're saying let u equal e to the minus x du, that's just minus e to the minus x dx and now we're saying let dv that's x to the n minus 1 dx. Now to get v we have to integrate that but of course that's very simple that's just simply going to be x to the n divided by 1 over n. Take the derivative of this and you get this. So now for our original integral x to the n minus 1 e to the minus x dx, x goes from 0 to infinity, and that has to equal u times v. This is u, and this is v, so we have 1 over n, x to the n, times e to the minus x, x goes from 0 to infinity, then we have minus the integral of v du. Well, this is v, this is du, we have a minus sign here, so that's going to make this a plus, and we have the integral of x to the n, e to the minus x dx times 1 over n. And x goes from 0 to infinity. We can keep this in better focus. Okay, let's look at this term here again. When x is infinity, that's going to be 0. And when x is 0, then this term is going to be 0. So this contributes nothing. And this is the basic definition of the gamma function. So we have the gamma function of n 
equals 1 over n. Now here, comparing this integral to this integral, e to the minus x dx that appears here, except this is x to the n. So this would be the gamma function then of n plus 1. For a gamma function of n plus 1, this has to be x. The exponent of the exponent of x has to be this minus 1. n plus 1 minus 1 is just x to the n. So this integral right here is just the gamma function of n plus 1. Or multiply both sides by n, and we have this, which is what we had just derived previously. So our basic formula, we can derive it integrating by parts, and it so happens it doesn't matter what we designate as u and dv, we can do it either way. Either way we get the same basic formula. Okay, and that's what we want to demonstrate in this video then, just using the um, fundamental definition of the gamma function, uh, applying integrating by parts, and seeing how we get this relationship. And then in the future videos, we're going to make use of this relationship uh, many times. So we just want to take a few minutes and derive it. And again, um, if you go to the website where the playlist is, and click on the uh, calculus section and scroll down to the integral functions, you'll see that we have many uh, videos there where we exploit other properties of the uh, gamma function and then we solve specific types of integral problems using the gamma function. So take a look at those videos and come back and join us for some more videos and we'll try and solve some more problems.